I wanted to start this channel off with a bang. And what better way to do so than becoming a millionaire? And so today we will be playing Who Wants to Be a Millionaire to see if hopefully I can win a million dollars. Imagine I just win it on the first attempt. Now the question is, who do we want our avatar to be? I think I'm gonna go with Pablo because he probably has that older wisdom that can answer questions from 1970. He probably loves Fox News. Not gonna lie to you guys, I'm a little bit nervous. We're finally on the big stage, everyone looking at us. Here comes the host. Who was the president of the United States in 2001? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I was born in 96 to Bill Clinton and George W. Bush was inaugurated in 2001 in January. It wasn't any of these guys, so let's go George Bush. Final answer. Just own it. You got it. From what Thank plant is pesto primarily right made? This is definitely basil. Yeah, I'm Italian what? and I definitely uh, eat pesto sauce sometimes. I don't think it's that good, but I know it's basil. That's that's the one. Okay, two for two. This is the run. The tree species Salix babylonica is better known as the weeping no what? Question. This is the weeping willow, final answer. Yes. An Arthur Miller play was titled Death of What? Oh no, I have no idea. Do I have to use a lifeline this early? What do I use, which one? Uh, let's ask the audience. This is way too early to okay, use it, but I have to. Gentlemen. Death of a salesman, okay. See. Yeah, that's definitely no. it. You. Built in the 1960s, which of these is a famous center for the performing arts in New York? Luckily, I know this one because I lived in New York for quite a long time. I went to NYU. A lot of you guys say that I always mention the fact that I went to NYU. First of all, I've never mentioned that in one single video. And I know that this is the Lincoln Center. Pretty right easy $4,000 question, unless I'm wrong. Aladdin and Alibaba are characters in which set of story? Oh, this is Arabian Nights. 95% positive it's Arabian Nights. 95% well, positive. Let's go. Okay, okay. What? In which year was the wreck of the Titanic located on the seabed? I have no idea. Nope. Let's not waste time. I have to use my final lifeline 50-50. I have okay. no idea. Here's my issue with these questions. How am I supposed to know the difference of a couple of years? Is it that much of an historic point for me to know the difference between 85 and 88? Don't they say when you're taking a, uh, a multiple choice test that you should always answer C if you don't know the question? It's a 50-50. I mean, at this point, what can we expect? There's literally nothing I can do. Final answer, 1985. Let's go. 64K, so we have 125, 255. We have four more questions. <sighs> I have no idea. The last time I read Hamlet was when I was in English class a very long time ago. I feel like well works best just linguistically. I noticed your hesitation. You should in the popular children's story, who is the brother of Gretel? Hansel and Gretel. Just the first director of the FBI was J. Edgar Hoover. Yes, which of these is the act or ceremony of crowning a monarch? This is a coronation, AKA the crowning of, because monarchs love their fascination with crowns and stuff like that, AKA the queen, AKA she has no power. Which inventor is known as the wizard of Menlo Park? Thomas Edison, final answer. Five for five, beautiful. President's Day is celebrated on the third Monday of which month? Oh, too easy as an American. This is February, final answer. Also used to be, I think, George Washington's birthday. I think they renamed it. Who was the president of the U.S. at the end of World War II? Well, Harry Truman dropped the bomb on Japan. FDR served from 32 to 45, which means he was out of office, and Truman was in when he executed the Manhattan Project on Japan. Final answer, Harry Truman. Which meat is used to make the Quebecois pork spread called Cretone? <laughs> I I have no idea. I'm going to uh, ask the audience on this one. Quebecois, I'm guessing this is like a Canadian question, something like that. So they're going to go with pork. I think I'm going to fact check it with a 50-50 because 51% is not amazing to me. Okay, pork is still there. I'm going to go pork. I probably just wasted a 50-50. That's an I can get so, good not shape. the best shape, but if we got some good questions, it could work in our favor. For which French president did Paul Boucault invent his famous truffle soup? I'm not even going to read through this question because I can't even pronounce half these names. Uh, let's phone a friend. Let's call Zelda back. This is a toughie. A, uh, oh, really? I don't know anything about this. 
Thanks for nothing, Zelda. So now I have to use my other lifeline. So we're just going to switch the question up. Which U.S. president reportedly said the ballot is stronger than the Abraham Lincoln? 100% he said this. The ballot is stronger than the bullet. Encouraging democracy. Get out there and vote. If we could stick to geography and U.S. history in particular, I think we can make it through. Here we go. Five more left. According to various studies, what percentage of adults worldwide are lactose intolerant? I know it's going to be more than people think. So it's either 60 or 80. A lot of people don't even know that they're lactose intolerant. I would bet it's probably 80. 60 could be. Okay, we have six. De okay, how do I make this decision? 80 or 60? Let's go on the higher side. 80. Final answer. Oh, let's go. Oh my God, let's go. I remember somebody saying once, I don't know who I was talking with, but they're like, yeah, you're probably lactose intolerant. I'm like, no, I'm not. I love milk. Turns out I'm probably lactose intolerant. Pointillism is a painting technique. We're done. Chiefly associated with which artist? Pointillism. Okay, so I was going to say that we should just go with C because I have no idea, but the only two people I know on this list are Picasso and Monet. So I know C and B, and I've never heard of pointillism. Therefore, I'm thinking it's A or D. It literally doesn't even matter. Let's go D. Let's go. Oh my God, let's go. Okay, in which century was Sir Isaac Newton born? Isaac Newton was born in the 1600s, guaranteed, which is the 17th century. Definitely 17th. I hope I did not mess this up. Let's go. Okay. Three more questions. We got this. Which of the following was well known in his day for being both an architect and a playwright? I have no idea. I don't know who a single person in front of me is. So when you don't know, we're going to go see. John Vanbrugh, please. 25% chance it's you. Come on, buddy. Hopefully you were both an architect and a playwright. No shot. <laughs> no shot. Dude, I'm telling you, C is always the answer. No way. We have two questions left. What was the first name of Dr. Bonda, the first per Hastings? Okay, you ready for this? Let me give you some context to this. You probably don't care at all, but this is fascinating for me. When I was in college, there was a couple things that I learned. Countries, capitals, presidents, uh, Academy Award best winning pictures, bones of the body, world leaders of every country. And I started in Africa and I started in South Africa and I got to Malawi because I was like, oh, Lilingue is the capital. Let's like, look into the history. Long story short, I know that Hastings Banda is the first president of said country. Final answer, thousand percent, doesn't even matter. Let's do it. Whew. Here we go. The final question of who wants to be a millionaire. We actually might become millionaires. Oh my gosh. Darius the Great. So here's why this is a very difficult question. The name Darius is clearly not a Japanese name, right? It's clearly not an Indian name. I think it's Egypt. As some final context, I took a class in college. It was called Middle Eastern Cultures, and I studied the Ottoman Empire, and we studied a little bit of the, the Persian Empire, and I don't remember seeing Darius the Great. If he was a Persian king, Professor Barnak Darian, I'm sorry. That's oh my god, why do I feel like I got it wrong? And unfortunately, wrong answer. It's the end. Three hours later. What cheese is not produced in France? Abundance, Gouda, Bouffour. It's got to be A. Everything else sounds like a French cheese. And unfortunately, wrong answer. I don't know how much longer I could play this. I think I'm on hour like four now. What is the main ingredient in Australian Vegemite? Okay, so I did a food challenge once on stream and I had this knockoff Vegemite because somebody said it was like one of the most disgusting things ever. It ended up not being that disgusting, but the point of this is that I know that it's yeast extract. There we go. Which US president's three-year administration is sometimes referred to as the thousand days? Let's see, Richard Nixon was five, JFK was around a thousand days because unfortunately he died. William Henry Harrison was like 30 days and then Ulysses S. Grant, of course, served out full term. So we are gonna go B, final answer. Well done. During World War I, which country was led by Will? Okay, this is the most German name I've ever seen. Plus, I do enjoy World War I a little bit, not as much as World War II, but this is C, Germany, yes, final answer. That's a I can dope, behind. dope, dope. In George Orwell's novel, 1984, where does the worst thing in the world reside? Okay, I read this in high school. 
And from first glance, Gut is pushing room 101, cell block H, not the West Wing, not Hotel Babylon. So my thought process is like, I am 60% sure it's room 01, but I don't remember enough to be confident. But also we just kind of have to rip things because I've been playing this for too long and I have to get to sleep because I have to wake up and I have to work out and I have to do stuff. The best-selling novel, The Beach, was set in which country? No idea. Let's ask the audience, maybe? Zero idea. Audience said Thailand. Okay, sure. I don't know. If you guys are saying it, if I lose because of the audience, like, what am I going to do? You, you pulled it off. Thank you so much, audience. Thank you so much. 64K, we have four questions left and three lifelines, which means I only have to single answer one of these questions. What pseudonym was used by American writers Frederick Denae and Manfred Lee? Oh, I don't know. Dude, okay, we've gotten this question before. What was the actual answer to this? I think it was Ellery Queen. I'm trying to think how I would have originally answered, and I think I still think Raymond Chandler's two first names, so it's got to be Ellery Queen. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're going to do this. I think we can do this. Three questions left. Which of these organizations was founded in the... Okay. I don't know. Well, let's phone a friend here because a 50-50 probably won't help me. Come on, Zelda. I would say D, but it's still... D, but it's still risky. I don't love it, so let's switch up the question. Which of these events in U.S. history took place on November 19th, 1863? So Lincoln served from 61 to 65... Um, so this was probably the Gettysburg Address. It's gotta be. That's what we were for. Dope. Okay. Lucky with a history question there. That was for two fifties. We have two more. Unfortunately, we have one lifeline. What does an orologist study? Uh, the mouth is a trick question. Oral. That's not even like how you spell it. Gold. No, it would be, uh, that would not be the, the right. I see what they're trying to do there. I don't know if it's C or B. Part of me is thinking it's C. What do we have left? 50-50, so do I use it? Yeah, right? Why not? It's 500,000. Okay. Oh, it's definitely not the mouth. I forget, isn't just uh, uh, an orthodontist and a dentist? Those are like scientists of the mouth, so it's got to be mountains. I feel pretty good about this one, then. Yeah, I, I wasn't freaking about that one because the mouth really didn't make much sense. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Relax, relax. Argentina, Colombia, and Peru all celebrate their independence days in which month june july august september okay i don't know but let's walk through this what sort of logic can i bullshit my way through this question with well i personally feel like most independence days i've heard of like the united states and canada fall in july so does that mean it's more likely or less likely that these countries have an independence day in july i would argue that they want to be like us that the Americas are somewhat aligned. So maybe everybody just stacks July with Independence Days. It's a very free month. I could just go the C route, which feels right. August sounds nice. I don't know about June. I feel like June, that's my birthday month, so. All I'm gonna say is no matter what I click, this is gonna be the last one. So the title of this video is either gonna be I became a millionaire or something that basically baits you into thinking that I became a millionaire even though I didn't become a millionaire. So I don't know what this is, the result of this is gonna be, but the title is about to be formed depending on what this click is. I feel like we can't go C because that would be too lazy of an answer on the million dollar question. So we at least need to insert our own logic. And by my logic, Every country in the Americas region celebrates Independence Day in July, so why would they be any different? I feel like if the stars align, the stars align. So I'm going to go with July, and that's my final answer. I would say B. I have no doubt. Is that your final? Um, if this is your final, final answer. answer, let's hope it's the correct answer. Say no,